not sure how to improve your balance safely and effectively? No worries, and by the end of this short Feldenkrais balance exercise, you're going to improve your balance. And this is the part two of the series. And so if you haven't done the part one yet, right here, and uh, I'll put the link down below. So please start with the part one before you start this lesson. If you want to learn how to retrain your movement safely and effectively, and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell and to be notified when I upload a new video every week. Hi, I'm Taro Iwamoto. I'm a Feldenkrais practitioner. And with my background in physical therapy, athletic training, martial arts, and the Feldenkrais method, I have helped many people with the balance issues and all kinds of mobility challenges. Now it's your turn. Let's get started. Before we begin this exercise, and please shut off all the distractions so that you can pay full attention to your body and in movement. It is important that you watch the entire video and then do the exercise with me and to get the best results. We're going to start with a quick balance test before the exercise. You're going to stand barefoot if you're okay and um, stand on a flat surface with the feet about the shoulder width apart stand comfortably and you're going to shift your weight over to your left foot first and lift your right foot and just to feel how you stabilize on your left foot. Do you feel steady? Do you feel wobbly? And how is it easy to, how is it to shift your weight over to your left leg? And then bring your right foot down and then you're going to check the other side. You're going to shift your weight over to your right leg and Lift your left foot and feel how you find the support on your right leg. What's the quality of your balance? Does it feel stable, less steady on this leg, or more steady than the other leg? And then bring your foot back down. So this is a check and quick uh, balance test before this exercise. Then it, as you go through the exercise at the end, after you finish the exercise, and then you come back and then check this balance test and again. So this is the continuation from the last exercise. So be sure to do the last one before you do this one. So you're gonna lie down on your back, very similar to what you did last time in the last exercise. So on your back, legs bent, and cross your knee, all right? Cross your right knee, let's start with the right knee over the left. So we'll begin with the same one we did the last time. So reach your arms up, palms together, right? And then the key thing is, again, I uh, remind every single time you move slowly, not a stretching, okay? It is about improving your coordination. So in order to improve your coordination, then you have to really remove all the excess, right? Unnecessary muscle activities. Unnecessary muscle activities really get in the way of your movement, which is, going to imp uh, which is going to compromise your balance. So very important to move slowly so that you can really move smoothly without any unnecessary muscles interfering with the movement's quality. So begin to tilt your legs, knees to the right, both legs to the right, okay, and if you immediately change your breathing and you stop. That's too much, okay? You have to be able to continue breathing normally, all right? Then if you notice any tension in your abs that's tightening up, let go. Do it slowly, allow the muscles to relax, okay? So that the pelvis can turn, so that the rib cage can turn easily. And then your arms can turn. And so your neck, and your head can roll also, and then back. Starting with your legs, sequentially allowing the body to turn. And then back. I don't know if this helps you, but think of 
you being like a bamboo or the tree, and then in just the, the branches of the trees are, the wind is moving the branches and then it's kind of moving very smoothly, easily, okay? And like a bamboo is in moving and responding to the wind, right? So it's not rigid, but it is very responsive and flexible in here and back. All right, so this is what we did last time, and then now it's gonna change just that one thing here. So, here, you're gonna do the same thing with your arms, with your legs. Tilt your legs to the right, spine, rib cage, arms, turn to the right. At the same time, it's a little tricky. You're going to let your head turn, roll to the left side, and then come back. This is actually more complex because now you're asking your body, okay, your legs, this part of the, your body, your legs, your spine up to here to turn to the right. And then you're asking your neck and head to turn to the opposite directions. So when the two parts are moving in opposite directions, more complex, a little more confusing for your brain. And then it's easy to in increase an unnecessary effort, especially around your neck so that you feel that little bit of uns uh, the uh, jerky movement and the tension in your neck. So you, your job is slowing down the movement and then to reduce the unnecessary tension in the neck and in breathing so that the hand can roll easily as the legs, your arms turn to the right and back. It could be just a tiny movement So if you are going to, if you can improve this coordination and you're going to improve your balance because you have, you are more adaptable, more responsive when you're standing on one leg and shifting over to one leg and then your body is able to actually make a little more adjustment more quickly. So then you can actually find the balance more quickly and that's the key thing. So it's not, uh, uh, it is not necessary for you to actually move as far as you can and that's not how you're going to improve your balance. But by actually removing excess, that's how you're going to improve. Oops, I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> I was starting to move my arms in opposite directions. No, that's not what I ask you to do. Legs. Arms go to the right, and then the head goes to the left and back. All right, and let's switch. Cross the left knee over the right. Position your right foot in the center so you're stable, okay? Then you check your breathing. Make sure the breathing is free, not interrupted. Okay. Reach your arms up, palms together. Begin to tilt your legs to the left, smoothly allowing the spine to turn, allowing the ribcage to turn and expand a little bit and move your arms to the left and then the back. So the first few times, let your head turn to the left as well. So start with that one, just as a warm up here. Okay, now I'm gonna do opposite movement with the head. So legs and then arms go to the left. Same time, rolling the head to the right and coming back. Oh, by the way, the arms stay straight the whole time so you don't bend your elbow. Elbows stay straight.
So what you notice is as you are uh, removing unnecessary muscle tension activities and then the movement becomes smoother and breathing becomes easier and thin, that's how you're going to improve your balance. Believe it or not. Okay, so we're done now and you can stand up slowly and then we'll do the balance test. All right, so now you've done the exercise and then you're going to check your balance once again. So stand in the same place, feet shoulder width apart. And then shift your weight over to your left leg. Okay, so first, and notice how you shift your weight and then how is the body moves and to shift your weight to find the support on your left leg and then lift your right foot. And then bring your right foot back down. And then shift your weight over to the right leg, find the support on your right leg and then lift your left foot and feel the quality of your balance. And do notice the difference from the beginning into now. So comment below yes or no if your balance improved. If anything else you, that you observed and noticed at the end of the, this exercise and please comment below as well. Check out these videos and if you like this video and hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and share with your friends. Comment below how helpful you found this video was. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Happy mindful movement. Bye-bye.